years ago, the food bank needed to move to get more room. And as they moved, they needed to sell this property. And it was very clear to me that we cannot let this go. We cannot let an asset that served this community for so many years uh, go away and build some kind of high-end apartments over here. We are so excited to reactivate the 970 building, which has had such a rich history in the community, really around food. Food Bowl Alliance's vision is to create an equitable local food system where everyone can participate and benefit. So collaboration is one of our core values and the work we're doing and the partnerships we're forming at the 970 building are directly related to this core value. We work a lot with our growers, you know, not just at farms, but in community gardens as well, hosting conferences here at the 970 building, or being able to act as a point of storage with some of our cool storage facilities that we have, or even being able to provide seeds, fertilizer, tools, those types of things is many of the things that we do with our resource center team. And also trying to operate with more of an equity lens um, from a day-to-day -day perspective around how we operate and making sure that everybody is able to participate in the emerging green economy. Westside Future Fund is a not-for-profit stood up to focus on some of the historic neighborhoods on Atlanta's west side, just west of the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Historically, uh, black neighborhoods um, that back in 1960 had about 50,000 residents, they, they depopulated around 15,000. Many of those um, worked for low wages or retired on fixed income. With jobs coming back, activity that's gonna lift up the neighborhoods, often the challenge of that is the very folks you'd like to see benefit from that are, are pushed out, priced out. And so a lot of the work you know we're doing is how do we ensure that a lot of the legacy residents or those that are connected to the neighborhood historically, you know, can can be a part of that rising tide. Excited to have our own you know place in the neighborhoods that we're serving with for our own you know authenticity and connection to the community, and also when we're helping you know educate those who may have an interest in in supporting the work, you know, being able to come here and, and talk about the neighborhoods and go out and do tours has been really um, beneficial. But what's also terrific is this is a lot bigger than just we need, and so. Um, having space to you know serve others as well as other not-for-profits you know like with our partner the Foodwell Alliance that has numerous not-for-profits it's um, collaborating with that are in the building you know it's really exciting um, to see. My name is Brian Schroeder I'm the executive director of Giving Kitchen and we help food service workers we do that through a connection to community resources we call stability network and also a financial assistance program where uh, food service workers in crisis will pay their living expenses until they're able to go back to work what's happening on the west side is a microcosm for what's happening across Atlanta and really across our state and across our region making sure to take time and, and create space for community and, and, and spend time listening to communities about what their needs are and also serving communities in really fair and centering ways. The Fresh Marta Market is just one example of how we are connecting our communities to local food. Um, the Fresh Marta Market works closely with hyper-local growers and that's farmers that grow food and produce food right here in the metro Atlanta area. The space at 970 Jefferson really quite frankly makes it possible for the Fresh Marta Market to operate. Um, all in, in one convenient building, in one convenient location, we've got our cold storage, we've got a delivery dock, we have a prep kitchen where we can process and get our food ready to go to market, in addition to a workspace that we can use to do our administrative things as well. We're a hunger relief organization and we do that by rescuing fresh surplus food from various food donors around the metro Atlanta area. We use volunteers typically to pick up that fresh surplus food and we deliver it to our partner agencies who are nonprofits themselves who have a compatible feeding program and can use that food and they distribute it to their clients. Being in the warehouse certainly supports us and, um, and enables us to be able to manage those larger volumes. I think that working in the nonprofit world, particularly in the hunger space right now, just being around other people who really have a common value, wanting to make the world a better place, is a gift. And um, we're super happy to be here. So the Atlanta Beltline Partnership is the nonprofit. We support the vision for the Atlanta Beltline. We are so thrilled to be at 970 Jefferson. I mean, it's right here on the Atlanta Beltline West Side Connector. 
uh, so close to the great work that the PATH Foundation is doing to help continue building the Beltline on this side of town. But it really comes down to, from a mission standpoint, so much of our work now has shifted from the east side to the west side. The projects that we're raising money for, the communities that we're serving, the people that we're helping, all that is really shifted to the west side and the south side. So to be here with so many great partner organizations in the heart of all the excitement and activity and Beltline Partnership, it's all about collaboration. Urban Recipe's main program, what we're known for, is running member-supported food co-ops for low-income families. And what that means is members come together, are part of a community of up to 50 families in each co-op. They get together 26 times a year, every other week, throughout the year, and help each other out with sorting the food, doing the activities the volunteers would do to make sure that they're meeting their household needs for food. One of the main ways that we provide solutions is that folks are able to supplement some of their income that they would spend, either shopping at grocery stores or picking up any kind of miscellaneous items. We provide fresh produce, non-perishable foods, frozen foods and meats, as well as household items like cleaning products, any type of toiletries, or hygiene products, so we're able to provide a lot of different items for folks. Moving here at 970 has given me an opportunity to see all of the other organizations that are, are tackling this food insecurity dilemma that we're going through. I love working here. I love the people that do the job here. I love what we're doing overall because overall I can sleep at night because of the big picture here. We, we essentially operate three businesses out of 970 Jefferson. Um, one is a local market business where we connect about five uh, regional farms with local farmers markets around Atlanta. We also have an interstate truck business, Georgia Peach Trucks, have a mail order component that we started here at, at 970 Jefferson where we ship boxes of fruit to customers across the United States featuring you know, Georgia peaches and, and Georgia citrus in the fall. Now with the other clients that are in this building, um, we have good connections if for some reason the farmer's markets get rained out and we have a lot of produce or uh, an incorrect order comes in. We now have outlets where we can first make sure that food gets donated and then worst case scenario, if you know it gets rained on at a market or it can't be sold, that uh, we also have compost outlets now. So making sure that none of our, our products go to waste has also been a big factor in us being here. Being able to come to a space that is fresh, full of natural light, large square footage has meant the world to our small but mighty nonprofit. We were essentially able to quadruple our workspace and triple our workstations with the growth of Giving Kitchen and what we project um, over the next several years for this nonprofit to grow regionally and one day nationally. This is one of the best opportunities we could have imagined. I feel like this is really going to fulfill a vision to be of service, to take the assets that we've had all these years, take it up another level, which we've done, uh, and to build it out in a way that the community really knows 970.